Y espero que eso nos ayude. Hello, Danny. Hi, Danny. Good evening. Es verdad, soy difícil, pero he sido para ti lo único profundo. Y en verdad que procuraba estar contigo. Cuando estaba más confuso, confuso, todo, tratando de existir, que me perdone el universo y yo. Hello, Daniela. Hello, Alicia. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's evening. it going? I'm great. A busy day, but great. Good thank to hear. God. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Repeat. Thank, thank God. Thank God. Forget about the K. It's just thank God. Thank God. Mm -mm. Thank God. Thank God. There you go. Thank God. Thank God. Ah, thank, thank God. God. Thank God. Okay. Thank God. Veronica. Hi. A busy day too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You are always like, hi. It's like very like too 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 serious. Ah, it's, the, it's the camera. It's the camera. There's Daniela. No. Let me introduce you to Daniela. <laughs> hi, Dani. Welcome. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too again. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, then we have Arabella. Welcome, Arabella. Good evening. Good evening. For how's, all. It, how's it going? All good. Okay. Uh, good, good. Okay, great. I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Very good. Jarvin. <laughs> okay. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Jarvin. How, how's it going? Uh, more or less. Mm, okay. Let's try to be positive. Come on, Violeta. Good evening. She's connecting. 
Okay, welcome, Daniel. Uh, Violeta, welcome, Stanley. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Stanley. How is it going? Um, I'm okay. Um, re recently, I um, finished to die, dinner. You're finishing? Oh, yeah, having dinner. Uh, having yeah. dinner. You were having dinner. Yes. Okay, let me tie this up. This is not good. Okay. Good. What were you eating? Um, rice and bean. Uh, rice at night? Rice and bean. Uh, yes. Uh, you mean like casamiento? <laughs> yeah. Yes, casamiento. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How do you say casamiento in English? I don't think there's a way to say casamiento. It's like chirmol, chirimole or chir chirmol. I don't know. Rice and beans. Rice and beans, right? Yeah. That's the way. What about chirimol? Chopped tomato? That is tomato. Chopped Diced, tomato. Chopped, chopped, chopped. 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 I don't tomato. know, but I chopped. don't know, but but in, in Chipotle. Chipotle. Uh, uh huh. They call they call pico de gallo. They call it pico. Still, we're still in Spanish. <laughs> Yes. Um, there was a uh, there was a word, and actually it's very famous. Uh, they sell uh, chirimol with different grades of of hot sauce. Okay, there's different grades of hot sauce on this famous sauce. What what is it called? I I can't remember. I can't remember. Have you ever bought Have you ever bought this but product? You're not confusing with chili? No, it's not chili. Um, a norteña, I think is it is. It's just uh, chirimol, but with different grades of, of hot hotness. You know, I can't remember that. But anyways, it will be a commercial, and we're not allowed to make commercials here. So, okay, let's start. What was yesterday's topic? What did we talk about yesterday? Past participle and uh, past progressive. Present perfect. Okay, present perfect present and perfect. present continuous. I mean, past continuous. Past continuous. Mm. Hmm. Didn't we talk about the past perfect? Yes, we yes. we 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 used uh, uh, the auxiliary had. Yes, mm -hmm. it's true. Why did we talk about? Past perfect. Hmm. Past perfect is not the same present perfect. No, 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 no. They're different. But why did we talk about the it's past like, perfect? It's like I was okay. playing basketball yesterday. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't listen to me. Uh, I got it. Don't worry. I found it. Okay, yeah, so first we saw, we talked about the past continuous versus the simple past, how a simple past action um, interrupts an action in past continuous, right? I was jumping and I fell from the bed. I was jumping and I fell from the bed. Okay, clear example. Then we talked about the past perfect and we did a little overview about it and we were saying, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. They were able to steal it because I had forgotten to lock the door. So give me one second. There it is. And I actually sent the image of this little, because I had forgotten to lock the door, the locker. I just send this image to your WhatsApp before we started the class. And so let's kick it. Okay, let's kick it. ¿Qué edad tenías cuando te enteraste que la introducción de Vanilla Ice era un idiom? Let's kick it. I always knew it. <laughs> oh my God, good. 
That's good. So yeah. What we... is the meaning of this idiom? Let's start. Let's start. Okay. Let's put hands on the job. Let's put hands on the job. Let's kick it. It's like saying in Spanish, demole. <laughs> That's the exact translation. Okay. So let's kick it. Okay. It's different than kicking the bucket. If you're kicking the bucket, you're dying. So never kick the bucket. Okay. Let's go. So I'm going to do the um, same we did to start the class again. Let's talk about the past perfect again. And I need you to make questions. I mean, I'm not supposed to be talking the whole time. So let's see. Pretty quick. There it is. Okay. So talking about the grammar, past perfect is an event that happened um, before another past continuous or simple past event. Okay. Look at the example. I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. So where was this person? Where was the narrator? In which place? He said, I, I was working out. Ah, gym. He was in the gym, work out. When you work out is because you're working out, you know, you're doing exercises in the gym. Okay. And I had put my stuff in my locker. Okay. So what happened? Can somebody translate that sentence really quick? Mm -hmm. hmm. Estaba trabajando afuera. That's y... the point. I was working out. Y... Mm -hmm. y... y... Casillero. Pero, pero se estaba cortando la señal otra vez y es y y había puesto mis cosas en el locker en el locker excellent very good yeah y había puesto mis cosas en el locker so cuando pasó esa acción de haber puesto algo antes o después de estar ejercitándose before Violeta yeah before I'm just playing with Violeta. You didn't get it. <laughs> Turn on your microphone. <laughs> okay. And I had put, yeah, this action happened before working out. Okay. Entonces, super rápido para ubicarlos. Esta acción de yo había ocurre más que todo cuando estás narrando algo, ¿verdad? Sí o no? Good. So when you're narrating, that's when it happens. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. Okay. I realized, I realized that someone had stolen my wallet. Uh oh, I didn't know it. Okay. I didn't know someone had stolen my wallet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's put this into, um, context in the way I like. Teacher, I yes. have a question. Please. Uh, we always uh, have to use the the bear auxiliary have. Exactly. That's what we're gonna do right now. Let's take a look at the grammar. I think we did it yesterday, but let's do it. It is very similar and actually it is the same structure as the present perfect. Okay. Uh, for a positive sentence, you need a subject and then the verb, the auxiliary verb had. This is the last thing we did yesterday. I remember. So subject plus had, which is our auxiliary here. And then you need the past participle. 
Yeah. Past participle of the verb. And then the complement. Okay. That's for a positive sentence. To make a negative sentence, you need again a subject. And in fact, let me do something. I'm lazy today. <sighs> Okay, as simple as that. You carry the negative onto the auxiliary, and then you have subject plus haven't, haven't, or have not, the past participle of the verb, and then the complement. Now, for a question, a closed question, a yes or no question, however you want to call it, we do the opposite. We bring the auxiliary to the front, to the beginning, look, and then we need the subject, okay, and the past participle of the verb and the complement, and don't forget the question mark, okay? And to make a WH, you just need to add a WH at the beginning of a close or yes or no question, and you have an answer. Now, always remember, close-ended questions or yes or no questions, you can only reply or answer these questions with yes. Oh my God, sorry. With yes, I had, or no, right? No, comma. I hadn't. There you go. Questions? No questions. Okay. I need a volunteer. Yes, I have, I have one. Excellent. Positive? I I had a written I had written a letter to my friend when he came back. Hmm. Excellent. Okay. I had written a letter to my friend when he came back. Yo le había escrito una carta a mi amigo o amiga cuando él, bueno, amigo Cuando él regresó. Simple. Great job, Alicia. I mean, um, Madeline. Very good. Very good. I like it. Okay. Good. Let's go with a negative. Someone else. Give me a negative sentence. I had not mm -hmm. read a book. I had not read. Read a book when mm, I hadn't read a book when when I I really um, when I exam okay yeah. let's say i hadn't read the book mm -hmm. i hadn't read i hadn't read, read the, book the book when when i started ah okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay i hadn't read now keep an eye on that alicia i hadn't uh -huh. read read the book read the book mm -hmm. when i started the exam I hadn't read the book when, when I started. When my the exam. sister gave me other. Or when the exam started. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the verb uh, it it could be at final the sentence. Yeah, but the the meaning, the sense of the sentence, will be different. Mm -hmm. I hadn't read the book when I started the exam. No había leído el libro cuando empecé cuando el examen. examen. Cuando empecé uh -huh. el examen o cuando el examen Empezó. comenzó. 
yeah sure. and so yeah. so it took me by surprise you know the teacher was like okay let's do the exam <gasps> and i hadn't read the book teacher can i say when i do the exam when i mm, performed when i performed the exam when I did the exam, yeah, when I did the exam. But remember, we're talking about an action before um, a past action. An action before a past action. OK. okay. So can somebody try to build, try to build a question? A question, um, who have... Hmm. Hold on, are you making an open question? No, 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 no. I know. No, um, the, uh, I will have you. Okay, had you? Where? Oh, where? Uh-huh. Okay, where had you... Yesterday. In? Where had you been? Where have you been? Oh. Yesterday? Yesterday at night. At night. Where had you been yesterday at night? ¿A dónde habías estado ayer en la noche? Okay. I have a yes or no question. Okay. Had you seen my keys? <laughs> okay. Keys. Have you seen my keys? <laughs> Have you seen my keys? Yeah. My hey, what's the difference? What keys. is the difference? Keys. Keys. Excellent. Keys. Yeah. yeah. Keys. This one. Keys. Okay. Oh, I'm writing the keys. same. What the? Sorry. Uh huh. Okay. So this one, you say keys. Key is. Mm -hmm. keys. keys. This one is kiss. Keys. Yeah. That's it. Kiss. Kiss. Keys. Or kiss. Extendes la I, el sonido de la I un poco. Keys. There you go. Keys. Keys. Have you seen my seen keys? My keys. You got it. Excellent. Can I give you a kiss? It's different. Okay. Have you seen my Teacher. keys? Now, Teacher. in this case, había visto mis llaves? Yes? Uh, I have a question. Yes. Question. 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 Uh huh. Is correct to say, have you, have you had the dinner when the class started? Good point. Is it one? No. Had you had dinner before the class? Had you had dinner before the class? What do you think, guys? Let's say that Stanley, Stanley faded, fade. Stanley faded. Stanley, Stanley faded. Okay. And his, his camera is on and we see him going like. <laughs> okay. And then when he comes back, we ask him, right? Hey, you had dinner before the class. You got the idea? Habías tenido, es decir, había cenado antes de la clase. Why? And, and yes, Stanley, you can do it because the three, the three meal times, the three meal times you need to use have. I told you this before, have breakfast, have, have lunch, have dinner. Is it with double N guys? I'm, I'm crazy right now. Yes. Okay. Lunch, have 
breakfast, have lunch, have dinner. And you're saying desayunando, almorzando, or desayunando, almorzando, and not. It's the same thing, but always you need to use have. So if you move this verb, I had breakfast, to the past, you need to do this in the past, okay? So yes, you are right. Had you had dinner before break the class? Totally. Okay, thank you. Correct, both. I have a question too. Now, before we move on, don't forget the question. Stay with, okay. hold, hold it, okay. hold it, hold okay. it. Everybody listen, hold it. Okay, have you seen my keys? Mm, have you asked before me? Before I came? Oh, <laughs> before I came, yeah, that makes sense. That makes more sense. Unless you are in the context, right, Violeta? Yeah. And guys, be careful with this. Tengan cuidado con eso porque me siguen preguntando así. It is correct to say. Acuérdense que el auxiliar de esa pregunta es el verbo to be. So lo mismo. Okay, va al principio. Is it, is it correct to say? Okay, Danny, go ahead. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, hold it, okay. Madeline. Madeline, hold it, your second, your second, Madeline. Uh, Daniela? Okay, my question is, how do you answer the, this third question? Is, where have you been yesterday at night? How do you answer that question? Oh, uh, are, you, are you asking me, how do you answer that question? Yes. yes. Okay, how do you answer that question? Which one? Where had you been yesterday at night? Where had you been yesterday at night? Okay, still perfect question. Okay, I had gone with Mario for some beers, as I told you. Okay, I had gone with Mario. So you use the past perfect to start the answer. Yes, Always. But mm -hmm. It's supposed that this question is an open question. Right. Look at that. Yes. And you can continue so, talking. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Always say, yes, I had. I had gone with my oh, some mm -hmm. years as I told. Exactly. Thank you. You don't need to say, yes, I had. No, mm -hmm. I hadn't. Here, okay, you will have to do it. Had you seen my kiss? No. I haven't. I hadn't. Okay. No. I hadn't. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Did you find them? See? No, I hadn't. Did you find them? Hmm. Simple. Or have you found them? Have you found them? Present perfect. Okay. At this point, a este punto todo dependerá de su eh, contexto y de cómo ustedes, eh, su léxico, su nivel de vocabulario empezará a afectar su uh, manera de hablar, parte de la redundancia. Entre más vocabulario tengan, mejor se van a poder expresar o el entendimiento de los tiempos gramaticales que hayan visto hasta el avanzado. ¿Por qué? Porque la pregunta, y quiero decir eso en español para dejárselos claro. Eh, observen ese ejemplo, como decía Dani. Okay. Had you seen my keys? ¿Habías visto mis llaves? No, I hadn't. No, no las había visto. Ok. ¿Las encontraste? Ok. ¿Las encontraste? Did you find them? Pero tú, como ya avanzado, podrías poner esto en contexto y decir, have you found them? Ok. Have you found them? ¿Sí? ¿Las has encontrado? Podría ser otra respuesta. ¿Y estás ocupando qué tiempo es este? Present perfect. Present perfect, yes. ¿Cómo lo sabe, Vero? Porque está viendo el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Y el verbo. Está en pasado yes. participio. Have you, have found, have found had seen, ok, así tiene que funcionar este punto ustedes, ver el auxiliar, ver el verbo, ah, ok, 
estén pasado y ese estén pasado participio. Ah, ese es pasado perfecto. Ok, presente, have, found. Presente perfecto. Very good. Ok. ¿Sí se entendió esa parte? Es decir, no existe una regla para contestar, eh, Daniela. En general, tenés que contestar con lo que se te está preguntando. Pero en la vida real, pues tu contexto varía, ¿no? Y así como puedes contestar con lo que se te está preguntando, con el tiempo gramatical que se te está preguntando, puedes atacar con otro tiempo gramatical. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, no, I hadn't. Mm, will you make another copy? Will you make another copy? Or do you have another copy of the keys? Good. Bien. Madeline, you had a question. Uh, yes. It's a good my question, my phrase. Uh, where have you brought the new suitcase? Where had you bought? Where have you brought bought. the new suitcase? The new suitcase? Are you saying bought? Both? No, brought. 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 Uh -huh. The new suitcase? Yes. It's okay or not? ¿Dónde habías traído el nuevo attaché? El nuevo no. suitcase, el nuevo eh, portafolio. ¿Qué, qué ah, suitcase? no. Teacher is boat. Uh -huh. Yeah, boat. right? Ba boat. 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 Maletín. Boat. Ok, Madeline. Yes. Pronunciación. Pronunciation. Boat. 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 Yeah, that's the way you say Where boat. had you bought? Where the had you bought? Case? In your suitcase. ¿Dónde, has okay? ¿Dónde habías comprado el nuevo maletín? Suitcase. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Yeah. It's okay Hold or on. not. Yeah, that's okay. I'm sorry. <ríe> no sé si vieron el documental de un tipo que le ha caído como siete rayos en toda su vida. No. Y resulta que después de los primeros rayos aprendió a tocar el piano el solo. O sea, de repente agarró el piano y se puso a tocar. So, your brain... Send us. Send us, please. No, no, no. It's just a documentary. But your brain works with electricity, right? So you need electricity to wake up. So let's do it. Okay. Teacher, it's okay or not? It's okay. Where had you bought? It is okay. Where had you bought the new suitcase? The new ¿Dónde, has, ¿Dónde habías comprado el nuevo maletín? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The one I saw you yesterday, the, the suitcase I saw you yesterday. Where had you bought it? Where had you bought it? A, a place. A place. Oh, I had bought it at. I had bought it at uh, Mike Mike. Whatever. Ah, yes. Aha, aha. Yeah, very good. In the supermarket. And okay. Teacher, teacher in only a question. In this example, in the same example, if I want to talk in only past, I only have to say where you bought, uh, bought the, the new case. Como decir, donde lo compraste? Where you bought. Ah, yes, it's true. Where do you buy? Where do you buy? Yes, because this is in the person present. Simple yes. past. That's right. Excellent questions. Come on, questions, questions. I love okay. questions. Okay, <laughs> any other question? No? I want to make some puppets. Bot. Brot. Set up. Teacher, brot. Y bot. Okay, brot. what's the difference? Brot. Yeah, bring. Brought. Brought, brought. Brain brought, brought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brain. Traer. Yes. Different. Yeah. The pronunciation. The pronunciation. The pronunciation. The pronunciation. Okay. The pronunciation. Is different. Brought. 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 Yes. Brought. Mm -hmm. Okay. I brought. I brought you some cake. I brought you some cake. Okay, let's work together. So we can bypass these um, samples. Get pen and paper, please. 
get some pen, paper, pencil, pencil and paper. Pencil. Yes, I have it. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, so go ahead. <laughs> because you already started, right? Teacher, how do you say aroma? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, okay, uh, other, <laughs> other, no, Lance, scent. other. Scent. Uh, no, other is a, is a bad no. smell. Scent. Oh, okay. scent. Yeah. I sent. Okay, thank you, Medin. The yes, oh, scent. The Are you saying scent? The of land the scent. Scent of the damned. Okay, okay. Thank oh, you. good. The scent of the down. The damn earth. The damn earth. Hmm. Hard, <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Write it down. The the room Okay, ready? Yes. 
Okay. No. Just let me. Yes, I have it. Um, May I read it? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to change that. Okay. Wasn't my intention, but anyways. Okay, go ahead. Um, when uh, Lu Luisa came, it had raining all the afternoon. Wait, it had it had the raining said, like that? The same raining all the afternoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. The ascent of the damped earth had penetrated the room and wait, the wait, wait, wait. The ascent of the damped earth damped like earth, that? Damped mm. earth. The damp. damp, damp earth had penetrated the room. Okay. And the wind blow loud and uh, loudly. I cannot pronounce this. Downly. The the wind blow. Blown, blown, blown. Oh, okay. And, Long, and okay. Long, Long. loudly. 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 Oh, loudly. Yes. Loudly. Okay. Loudly. Great job. Okay. So when Luisa came, it had raining all the afternoon. The essence of the damp earth had penetrated the room and the wind blown loudly. Okay. Great job, Madeline. Anybody? Thank do you, you. Do you have any teacher, corrections? Can, teacher, I, can we I say, a, okay. Thank you. Can Sorry. we say, uh, had been raining all the afternoon? Okay, when Lisa came, it had been, it had been. raining all the afternoon. Okay. Yes, it's okay. Teacher. It had been raining. That is teacher, the right and, way. And it, it's correct to say, when Luisa arrived. Yeah, you can do it's it. It's the same. It's the yes. Same. Okay. When Luisa arrived, it had been raining. It had been raining all the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Any other time. correction? Any other way that you might have done this? When Lisa, when Luisa came, it had been raining all the afternoon. The scent of a wet ground yeah, had penetrated the bedroom and wind blows strong. Okay. The essence of the wet land. Uh huh. Yeah, instead of damp earth, has okay. penetrated the room. And the wind blown, and the hard wind blown. So, uh, uh, this the part. sand of, of the wetland had penetrated. Had penetrated. The penetrated. Yeah, penetrated. It has, been, it has been passed. Uh -huh, the, the bedroom. The bedroom. Bedroom. Yes, yes, it's true. It's a bedroom. Uh huh. And bedroom and wind blow strong and wind blow and the wind blow strong okay now soplava o estaba and soplando strong strong no are, strong. are those it blow? could be the wind was blowing blowing the wind was blowing right. will be el viento uh, estaba wind. soplando mm. right the wind Blowing. If you say it in past, it will be the wind. The wind blowing. The wind blew. Blue, blue, blue. strong. Blue. El viento sopló fuerte. So yes, the wind blown. Blow. Ah, blown. Yes. Yeah, blue. we, we were fine. Yeah, loudly. and the wind blown loudly, or and the wind was blowing loudly, loudly. Loudly. There was a strong wind. It's true. Okay. Okay. Good job. Okay, now we only have about 15 minutes. I want you to perform a similar exercise. So I will split you in groups. 
and try to narrate something um, explaining using the past perfect. Do you think you can accept this challenge? Yes. Challenge accepted? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's try to do it, guys. You can do it. <laughs> okay. Where, where are we? I'm going to split you right now. So please accept the invitation. Let's go. Yes. And about what we can talk? I don't know. Um, something. Um. Diary, I think. About what? Um, uh, something that happens every day. Like a oh, okay. routine, or no, yes, yes, that. Well, that's some, some, I think that's okay. And I had an an idea, and for example, when we start the class, the English class, and the well. It's like the same to the example of the teacher, but when when we start the English English class, uh, it was started raining, and the internet was wrong. Oh. I don't know, something mm. like that. Yeah, I think I think will work. Okay. Okay, I think oh, that'll man. that'll work. I think I think that'll wait that'll that'll work. O sea, that will work. I think that'll oh, work. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll that'll work. There you go. That'll work. Solo que para que suene bien tienes que hacerlo rápido. I think that'll work. <laughs> I think that'll work. I think that'll work. My song twisted. <laughs> Good. That'll work. Okay. That'll now, work. put things in context. So, para hacer esto un poco rápido, intenten pensarlo en en um en español un poco, ¿no? Había llovido. Había eh, hablado acerca de. Cuando llegaste, el teacher había hablado de... Recuerden que esta mm. es una acción que se llevó a cabo antes de una acción en pasado simple. So, yeah. Antes de que ocurriese una acción en pasado simple, esto había ocurrido. ¿Ya? Yeah. Yes. Ok. Como antes de conocerte, me había divorciado tres veces. <laughs> yeah. Before I met you, before I met you, <laughs> I had divorced... I had divorced three, three time. times. Wow. No es una experiencia, no? Es algo que había ocurrido nada más antes de. Good. I think that's clear. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So. Before. Mm. The day before yesterday, but okay. not today. The, the situation. The situation and okay. in my example, uh, Alicia mm -hmm. had 
In past, right now, no. Mm -hmm. In this moment, uh, Alicia is here in front to, to us. But yeah. yesterday, Alicia had um, had came had uh -huh. came to this the school, and okay. the Re student uh, had heard that the, had, the past participle of came. Uh, I'm sorry, of come is come. So come, came, come. Came, come. Came, come, come, came, come. come coming. I, I thought that it was came. <laughs> came. Came is the simple past. Then you have come. Ah, okay. Come, come, come came, come. Come, came, come. Come, came, come. Okay. Come, came, come, coming. Yes, I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I want to tell a story. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, yesterday, I was, I I had uh, arrived at school, and then I had uh, I had had a meeting, a meet with okay. my. Bye. Le interrumpo un ratito, Alicia. Uh -huh. eh... Ayer había llegado a la escuela y había tenido una reunión. Una reunión. O sea, I had had. I eh, had had. No, y había tenido ajá, una reunión. I had had a meeting. Repito, ayer había yeah. llegado a la escuela y había, y había tenido, tenido una, una reunión. reunión. With the principal. With the principal. Yes. Y había tenido una reunión. Sí, verdad, tiene sentido. Uh -huh. Había llevado a cabo una acción. Ah, no. Y antes de uh, esa sorry. había tenido. Había, no, sí tiene sentido. Tiene sentido. O oh, it's better to say, and I had a meeting with the principal. Uh -huh. Y tuve una reunión con el director. Y tuve una reunión con el director. Oh. Yes. Maybe it's better, no. Uh -huh. And I had a meeting with the principal, and she. Um, she told me that I have to, Ese to no realize. Ese ah, no, okay. perfecto, pero perfecto, no va bien. <laughs> that I, and I okay. had to, I had to, to do. To do, I have to do as mm -hmm. uh, a stock of the laboratory, of the science laboratory. An inventory? I had to do an inventory. An inventory, an inventory, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, of the laboratory, mm -hmm. of the laboratory or of science laboratory, mm -hmm. of science laboratory, and uh, then I, I have no, I had a lot of work in all the day for finished okay them. and then i had a lot of work the whole day okay and i or then i had to work i had to uh, work then i have i had to work yes the whole I day had to, the whole day Luego tuve que trabajar todo el día. Okay. okay. I had Cuidado to con, o sea, si les va a ocurrir que van a querer usar el had pero a veces nos pasamos del, del pasado perfecto, lo que se al, al pasado ah, simple. Y es involuntario, ah, okay. y es involuntario como le acabó de ocurrir, o sea, y, y sin embargo, perfecto, o sea, lograr más uh -huh. donación, no so. We're good. Okay. okay. Keep going. Thank you, You're welcome. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I had, I, uh, I had come soon and you, and you came and you came late. I had came to Zoom and you came late. I had come, I had come to Zoom and you came late. Yeah, había venido a Zoom y usted vino tarde, yeah? Si había venido temprano y usted vino tarde. Ay, That's yes. class. Okay, keep going, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> No, it's an exercise. <laughs> it's an exercise. <laughs> 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 okay, 
<laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I'm Madeline. <laughs> I drank my afternoon coffee. Mm -hmm. And I. Yes, we were talking. <laughs> About, okay, good. In English. Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold your question, damp, charcoal. Yes, as a noun, damp is charcoal, but when you say damp earth, it's tierra mojada, tierra humeda, pantanosa. Yeah, exactly. The actual damp is pantano. Damp. Sí, es que lo vi en un, en un cuento. ¿La princesa y el sapo? No, este, no en, en, lo leí en un cuento que, que tuve que leerles a los niños. <ríe> Valga la redundancia. La princesa y el sapo sap, pasa en, um, en um, Luisiana. En muchos pantanos. Sí. Sí, pero eso es en los pantanos, sí. Sí, sí, de Dems. Ok. Show me your example. Did you were you able to build a short story? Okay, Vladi, go ahead. Yesterday, when I oh, no. um, oh my god, she's so beautiful. <laughs> I have signed the diplomas for the kids before I made the graduation box for the preschooler, and I have drunk my yeah. afternoon cup. Okay, yesterday I have signed the diplomas for the kids before I made the graduation box for the preschooler. And I have dropped my afternoon cup. And I had dropped, I had dropped. Drunk. Drop. Oh, drank. Drunk. Drunk. Drunk, drunk. drunk. Okay, and I had drunk my afternoon, afternoon coffee. coffee. Good. Excellent. Just repeat signed. 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 Yeah. Yesterday, I had signed my students' diplomas. Signed. Great. Signed. Great. Thank you. Another example? No, that's the only example because it was very big. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Short. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. We're, about, we're about to finish. A magical thing I said nothing will keep us from pain Had I been down Had I been down I will promise you all of my life That to lose you will cut like a knife Had I been down Teacher, I'm sorry for the phrase Had I been down No, I never came close in all of these years, you are the only one who can stop my tears. I'm so scared. George Michael. A different Claps. corner. A different Claps. corner. Now I was remembering. <laughs> okay, past perfect. Past perfect. A different corner. I want you to pay attention to that lyric. Okay, George Michael, a different corner. Don't cry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't cry. A different corner. I they, smile. They which... played. I, I only have one minute, guys. They played that song on his ceremony. He passed away in 2016, George Michael, or 2017. But anyways, they they played that song on his ceremony, and it was sang. It was sang by the vocalist of Coldplay. Oh. Chris Gardner? No. I can't remember the name of this guy. But anyways, he sang that song, A Different Corner. Beautiful. Okay, so pay attention when he uses the past perfect. And you tell me, okay? Tomorrow, I want you to be ready to prepare a recipe. Okay? A recipe. 
Yes, in groups, you're okay. going to prepare a, a small recipe, okay, a sandwich. And what, <laughs> a salad. Uh, whatever <laughs> food, whatever food. Beans, yeah, whatever food, chicken. Okay. Okay, bring your own okay. recipe so we can share it in the class, okay? Okay. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, baby. Bye, bye. bye baby. Bye, oh, that's cute. Bye, baby. <laughs> bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. <laughs>